Good morning. Welcome to Saturday morning, Bailey's and Tea. I hope everyone's doing well. And it's sunny where you are. It's kind of cool where I am in Edmonton. I would say that uh, it cooled down overnight and that that fall is upon us out here. So today we are going to play with the sweet as a peach um, bundle, which is on page 60, 61 of the annual catalog. Just gonna have a sip of tea here. If I sniffle every now and again, I'm dealing with some fall allergies, so nothing to worry about. I just may have a sniffle or so. Um, this is a great set. It comes with the bundle, which is the Sweet as the Peach stamp set and the peach dies, which coordinate obviously to cut out a lot of the elements that are in the stamp set. So the big peach, the leaves, uh, the little flowers. Um, there's some extra little flowers to add in. There's a branch that you can add. Um, it's got some great little teeny tiny leaves that can be added as elements as well. And then it's got this great little tag cut out for all of these wonderful little um, sayings. So great, great little bundle. And it's not super pricey. It's only $49.50. So to get all of those elements and all of those um, additional die cuts is perfect. As well, if you wanted to get the sweet, you can get the um, You're a Peach Designer Series paper, which is absolutely gorgeous. Look at, oops, let's turn it the right way. Um, it's got some great, great peach um, watercolor sort of elements to this paper. And then just a fun paper with peaches on the back. So if you go to like a peach orchard or something like that, I can definitely see um, a scrapbook page with this. And then some of the die cuts and peaches out of the, the dies. Um, another great one with the blues and the peaches. And then just a nice dotted look on the back. The beautiful flowers. Just that watercolored sort of effect on this paper is just gorgeous. And then a nice stripe on the back. Another one with big bold peaches on it. And then the white background. And then a nice washed polka dot on the back. This one's kind of fun. I haven't used this one very much. I have to uh, create something with this paper. Um, more this side is speaking to me than that other side with the blues, but it's nice and fun. Also water, sort of water washed. It's really nice. And then another nice flowery um, one with a green sort of splotchy look on the back. So those are the papers that come in the, in the uh, designer series paper bundle. And then it's got a nice fun little gift giving item. So that's why I pick this suite to feature. It's got these cute little jam jars. Now, aren't these adorable? It's got a nice little tin lid. These are plastic, but you could put um, bath salts in them. Um, I'm gonna show you a little project with some fuzzy peaches in it. Um, uh, they are food safe, but um, obviously you can't sterilize them and stuff like that. So you kind of just have to think of what you want to put in them. Uh, another great thing to put in would be just some these aren't current embellishments, but um, some embellishments that you want to give as a gift for, for a crafter in your life. You can make up a little bundle of these. As well as like loose tea, you can repackage from um, David's Tea or, or any tea company um, and repackage into these cute little jars and make a nice little gift with that as well. So I'll show you a couple little um, design elements I did with these but you get six in the package so you can make quite a few little projects with them. Oh, 
Oh, my dog busted through the door here. You'll hear her clicking in. Um, so they show you just where they've used the designer series paper on the um, packaging to make it nice and cute. So we'll, we'll see a little element with that um, here as well. They've got jelly beans in it. They've put jam in these, but like I say, you can't sterilize them. So and like boil them to keep them food safe. So I'm not really sure about putting jam in them per se, but um, definitely um, little treats, embellishments, tea, like those types of things that will keep for a limited time that someone could use it up before um, getting rid of it. So that is the cute set. So if you got the suite at 77.50, if you got the bundle with just the stamp set and the dies, it's 49.50. And it's a fun little set to play with um, as we sort of transition into fall. So it's it's kind of springy, kind of fallish sort of set, which is great. So we will jump into making this cute card today. So I posted all of the dimensions on Friday. If you wanted to create along with me, you'll want to get your card pack out now. And this is not a card I made. I had a hard time picking which one I was going to do um, because I had made a bunch of samples and, and I don't know, I just gravitated towards this one. I kind of went eeny, meeny, miny, mo with my eyes closed and came up with this one. So this one is made by Carolyn King and we are going to recreate it. So just get out all my little elements here out of my kit. So we're going to start with a card base in crumb cake, which is four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half. Okay. We've got our first layer, which is our basic white, which is five and a quarter by four. We've got our second layer, which is our designer series paper and I've chosen the flower one. Um, which is three and fifteen sixteenths um, by five inches. So that'll layer over top of that. We've got a die cut piece, which I'm going to show you what we're going to do with that. That is going to layer. And then we've got a um, designer series paper uh, that is three and fifteen sixteenths by two and a quarter, or sorry, two and a half which is gonna layer over this piece once we cut it down and I show you what we're doing. Um, then we've got an inside piece, which again is five and a quarter by four. I've got a scrap piece of white to do um, a little technique on how to get the different colorings in the flowers. So I've already pre-cut mine. And then we've got a scrap of um, crumb cake to do our embossed in white um, sentiment if you want and then of course we have our um, gil gold gilded gems that we're going to use to embellish with Oops, I'll leave the stamp set back here okay and then additional items you would need are your pale papaya um, ink your calypso coral your early espresso and a sponge dauber for your calypso coral if you have them separated in colors like I do. I have a nice little case here that holds them all and then they're all organized so that I know which one and I also um, use my label maker to put labels on the actual daubers. And then we've got of course our Versamark and our white embossing powder. Some of the stuff I've already pre-done so that um, I don't make a bunch of noise on film and stuff like that. Okay, so let's get started with our layering. So we are going to layer our designer series paper onto our layer, our basic white layer, just with our stamp and seal. And it's just gonna have a border on it so we're just gonna sort of eyeball that 
And then I'm gonna attach this to my card front. And you wanna make sure that your flowers and the branches and stuff are going in the right direction. I believe on, oh, and maybe it's just that one. It looks like it's hanging down. It doesn't really have a up or down per se, I guess. It could still go that way and look pretty, so. All right, and then we are going to take, I'm gonna take my little mini cutter here. And what I've done is I've cut this out of the um, scallop contour dies. So I've used this one here to get a full die cut. And then I've trimmed off one end. And so I've marked my paper I've lined up my paper with this edge after I cut off that right by the dots, essentially. I've just taken a pencil and marked where, cause I'm just a little bit over um, those dots. So I can't use those dots there as my guideline. So I've just marked it with my pencil um, to cut it evenly across. So I'm just gonna use my little cutter here and I'm going to just trim that off on my pencil lines. So I'm gonna end up with this die cut piece that I can layer my designer series paper onto. Okay, so you just cut off both ends. Put that out of my way. Okay, so we'll go ahead and layer this on. And it is gonna have a little bit of a border. And if you're not good with lining it up, you could just put your designer series paper down and then trim off the edges um, afterwards, whichever is the easiest for you. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and we will attach this to our card front. And so I left more on the top than I did on the bottom when I did this just because I wanted to have as much of this beautiful paper as I could exposed. And I sort of like it in the lower half of the, uh, the card. Oops, I grabbed a leaf that doesn't have. So a trick when you're doing, especially these leaves, is I put adhesive back sheets on it before I cut it out and I just swapped out. So this is one has a sheet on it, this one doesn't. So you just have to use your Tombow if you forgot and didn't do it. I just put the wrong one in the in my little kit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and peel this off. If I can get my nail under it. There we go. And then it, it's sticky, it's like a sticker. So we'll go ahead and stick that down. Just like that. Okay, so now we'll stamp our flowers and I'll show you the trick to kind of get the multicolored look to it. So we'll get out the flowers and stick them to our block. And I'm just gonna get a scrap piece of paper because we're gonna stamp off. and my Calypso Coral Sponge Dauber. So what we'll do is we'll open up our Pale Papaya and our Calypso Coral, and we will stamp the flower in the Pale Papaya first, and then I stamped it off. And then I took my Sponge Dauber in my Calypso Coral and I just kind of dabbed it in different areas on my flowers. So it's kind of hard to see. You're gonna see when I stamp it here. That we get that different look. So it's really pretty, eh? We'll do that one more time. So into our Pale Papaya, stamp it off. And then just use our Dauber very lightly. I'm touching it very, very lightly. And then we'll stamp it on our scrap piece. So you'll get, depending on how how lightly you touch it and how or how heavily you touch it, you're gonna get the different look. But it's really, really pretty. And you would do that same technique 
I'll do it right now to show you. You can do that with the peach as well. So there's little peaches and then there's the big one. We'll just grab the big one. And I have seen um, people use the peach to make an apple, to make plums, especially the little ones make cute little plums. Um, what else have I seen? I've seen so many different things done with this set. So it's not, um, there's the peach. So you're not limited to just making it a beach. You can turn it into whatever fruit that you want. Okay, so that's how to get sort of your different variations of color. And then the stamp set has this cool little kind of centered watch. It kind of looks like a little, um, the COVID thing that they've been I have it stamped here when you see it stamped off it kind of looks like the the COVID germ um, so if you're making COVID cards for people um, this is a great little <laughs> center blotch to use for that so I'm just stamping it off as you can see on the side just to lighten up that center and I'm just stamping it in the middle of all my flowers. You don't have to, but you can. So then I used, I've already pre-cut them, but I've used out of the die set the flowers. So they line up right with the flowers and you can just die cut those out. Same with the peach one. It would line up with your stamped peach and then you could cut it out and have your your loose peach which you'll see on some other card examples I show you and the little ones the same it's got the the little ones that'll cut out the little little peaches or plums or apples whatever you want to make them okay so we'll throw that to the side there and we'll get back to this one so our, let me find my flowers, there they are. So I am going to use some dimensionals, which I forgot to grab here. So I'm just reaching beside me to grab some minis. So I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back of my flowers. So that I can pop them up on the branch. So we'll just go ahead and put these on. Oh, I just realized I had a, have an empty branch there. I always have extra little die cuts, so let's go ahead and put one more there to finish that off. Okay, and then we are going to grab, just have to get my thread out of the bottom of my finger, and I'm going to add a bit of Wink Estella to my flowers to give them some shimmer. If you don't have a Wink Estella pen, I don't know how well the camera will pick that up, but they do have a little bit of glimmer to them now. And so we're gonna make a double bow with our linen thread. So I basically just pulled off a bunch, looped it over itself, and then I'm gonna tie a bow and cut it off. Just gives it a little more bulk. Bow's not working out here for me. Try this again. Mm. 
There we go. Okay, looks good to me. So I'll just put my scissors in there and slice that off. Oops, I've got an extra little thing there. These scissors need to be sharpened today on my to-do list. Sharpen those scissors. Okay, and then we're just gonna take a bit of our Tombow and glue that down, sort of just in the center of our branch there. And we'll just hold that down for a second. Oh, this card's so pretty. So, so pretty. All right. So then we will obviously stamp with our greeting, whichever one you choose. So you can do thanks so much as well. Have a peachy day, sweet as a peach. Um, I've chose happy birthday. So I've gone ahead and stamped that in Versamark onto my crumb cake scrap piece. And then I've embossed it with the white um, embossing powder. So now I'm going to, and this is my new thing to take the greeting and slice it up so I'm just trimming it down as close as I want it to the greeting trying to cut a straight line she said not so successfully <laughs> there we go that's a little better And then I am just going to slice it right down the middle. So then I have the two pieces. This is a great way to get more, um, what's the word? Versatility, I guess, out of your greetings that um, if it's too long for you to put it in one spot, slicing it up into two gives you the option to um, spread it out like we've done with the card and not have it so long. So you, you definitely get a different look when you slice it up a bit. And the longer it is, of course, you can slice it up some more. There are some longer greetings in, well, not so much, I guess, but Thanks for being as, you you know, slice it up into sort of blocks and then have it sort of stretched out along your card. So great option there for that. Just gonna have a quick sip of my tea here. Okay, so we're almost done this card. So on the inside, I've just taken and done that same technique with my flowers and then I've added the leaf in pear pizzazz is the color that I stamped that in. So we'll attach this to our inside. And you have noticed that I've left the centers off the flowers on the inside, so it looks just as pretty without that little center splotch as well. I've gone ahead and done the same thing on my envelope just to finish it off. And then we'll bring in our gold gilded gems. Oh, good morning, Glenda. Thank you. I like this card too. It's not mine, it's Carolyn King's. I need some small ones here. I gotta open up my other package. And we'll just go ahead and put some gold gilded gems. The gold is so pretty with this paper, I think anyways, to finish it off. So pretty. I love it. 
never mind I'll fix that later <laughs> so that's our card for today and I'll show you some extra samples um, done by myself and some other demonstrators so this one is by Tammy Wilson which is an artisan designer um, with Stamping Up you'll probably see her stuff on social media everywhere she's done this fun technique where she's sliced the ribbon in half and then it's got really some bulk to it she's done some um, rhinestones in the middle of the flowers and actually die, die cut those out of a scrap of so out of the peach so the flowers got sort of that watercolored look as well as well as the leaves so they've just come out of a leaf there out of a scrap of paper so pretty and then just a couple sequins on the side and then she's just double sort of layered the bow with some linen thread as well which you know how I love my linen thread <laughs> you need those gems now Shannon yeah you do you don't have them my goodness um, here's another cute one this one's by Mary Fish so stamping pretty um, just simple she's just stamped the peach added a few little elements that's the die cut for um, the sentiments that comes in the die set and then just some cute sequins nice and simple but pretty I know cutting the ribbon a lot of the people are doing that now Glenda and it, it's awesome sometimes I can't find a use for that thick ribbon and so you cut it in half and it's great um, here's another one just a uh, quick tag and then featuring the uh, peachy blue paper that we saw and then I've just pop dotted the um, second peach and then that one I just stamped flat onto the tag so nice and simple not too much because um, the paper is pretty busy so you want to keep it pretty toned down this one's kind of fun stamping the happy birthday in different colors and then just adding a little peach and then that's the little flower stamp that comes in there as well And then this is a fun one. It's kind of a different fold. Um, just opens on the side and then kind of just created a little tag look there. I probably need to trim that off though. It's sticking out over the card or just move this over a bit because you obviously you don't want that sticking out. It won't fit in your envelope. But nice and simple letting the paper do a lot of the work here um, but double layering it with the back side pattern to get more use out of your designer series paper and just the coloring the calypso coral the pear pizzazz and the um i think it's balmy blue um just gorgeous i love this paper and then here's another little cute one just with the vellum die cut um and the circle and then the peach is very very wink i don't know if the camera will pick that up but nice and pretty and then these are hand cut out of the designer series paper so you can also use it that way if you only had the paper definitely cut out the elements of the peaches and the flowers and the leaves and all that and then just use them to layer them onto your um, card and then it's just got some nice pearls added to it to make it nice and soft and feminine to make you drool <laughs> and then this is a cute little box and now I took a course um, which I'm just putting together the cards um, but this little box was one of them in it and it's so cute you can definitely put um, some fuzzy peaches inside of it or something else a uh, nice cute simple little box chocolate bar something for a teacher or a friend um, just super cute and then just some linen thread to just keep it closed or you could put a little velcro dot under there or something like that to uh, to keep it um, closed but super cute and simple look at them all and then this is the one that I made with the um, jars so this is like a little fruit basket that I put designer series paper on the side and um, I just if I get shipping packaging with this kind of stuff in it I keep it so I've just added all that shredded paper 
And then I've made a cute little jar, just wrapping the designer series paper around, um, stamping a little peach. I've added a little branch in behind there, just some linen thread. And then it's just got some fuzzy peaches in it. <laughs> so these are kind of cute. We had a celebration paper that was kind of fruity too. And I, I did make one. I don't think I ever showed it to you guys, but I made a little fruit basket with that one as well. There was blueberry paper and strawberry and stuff like that. So just to add a cute little treat, it just nestles in there and uh, you could wrap it up in a little cellophane bag or whatever. Great little teacher gift. Um, yeah, super cute. I have the recipe, so if you wanted the recipe for the little basket, I can definitely uh, hook you up with it. And then I found these cute um, little resealable containers that look like a mason jar on Amazon, I think it was. And I thought this would be cute to just add a little tag to. So I've used kind of the same design as um, Tammy did in this card to create um, this. So these two could go together very, very well. And uh, I've just put some loose tea in it and a little scoop to scoop the tea. Um, I'm, I'm a lover of Silk Road tea out of Victoria. So this is their um, peach tea. I've matched it up, of course. And um, they all come with little scoops. So this is resealable. So it, someone could just rinse it out and use it again for something else um, after they've drank all the tea. But um, just to add this little tag and then all I've done is just punched a little hole to put my little tag through just at the top of the jar. So it actually looks like it's kind of hanging from the jar top, you know, where you would have the um, wire um, closures on these fun jars in real life. So it's nice and cute and then it can match up with this wonderful card and great gift to give to anybody put in a stocking as we're starting to think and shop for stocking and uh, Christmas presents. So great little way to uh, give a homemade gift um, to somebody. And yeah, that is pretty much all. Get out the card we actually made today here. Um, and yeah, lots of fun. <laughs> right? Those pouches are cute and they're super cheap. They're not they're like, yeah, I got them on Amazon. I think I got 10 of them for like five bucks or something they weren't expensive at all um winners and stuff like that here i know not everybody has got one close to them but um, i've seen them there as well so um super way to give something loose you could even put candies in them so or spices maybe you make up a, a cool spice rub or something like that you could put that in there and then just sort of change out your paper and tag to sort of match it but quick and easy handmade little gift to give to somebody so that is all my friends. I hope um, you enjoyed what we made today and maybe you made along with me. I'd love to see it. So post it in the comments to me. And <laughs> you must spend more time on Amazon. Yeah, I'll see an idea and then I'll go searching on Amazon. It's crazy. And then I get down that dark hole and my shopping cart gets very full. Um, or I save it for later. Um, yeah, that's it. And then, oh, I forgot our little peachy basket so if you want the the recipe for this I can definitely hook you up with that just um, put in the comments recipe and I'll send it off to you um, I've posted some other classes um, new paper pumpkin kit and our Christmas card and stuff like that we need to start thinking of that and um, ordering because um, shipping delays obviously are a big thing right now um, but we got some fun kits to quick and easy make your Christmas cards and get it over with do it now and then you don't have to think about it um and that is all so if you have any questions or need to communicate with me you know how to do it and um there's all the links and uh, i will be back next week to show you a fun new oops it's not in this catalog hang on let me grab the other one for we are going to play with the Harvest Meadow set in the mini catalog. So as I said, the beginning of the month, these are some of my favorite bundles and sets and stuff like that in the different catalogs. So showing you how to use them and um, what's involved in them and all that fun stuff. So this is the one we're gonna play with next Saturday. So look for all the information on that and um, the card that we're gonna create and what you need if you want to create with me. I look forward to seeing you next week. Um, I have a few days off this week, so you may see me a couple more times this week um, doing different videos for my different businesses. 
But thanks for joining me. Paper hugs, everyone. Enjoy your Saturday, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.